from millions of Chinese citizens to some of the world's biggest companies. A lot was hacked in April. This is AI Joe, and let's check the most interesting cybersecurity stories of the month one by one. Let's start from China, where one of the largest data breaches in the world's history possibly happened. Posts claiming to sell data of 630 million Chinese users appeared on Russian hacker forums. Samples contained names, ID numbers, bank credentials, and other information on the users, and the data was allegedly stolen in April 2023. We still don't know how and if the data was really stolen. If true, this leak could have an impact on a whopping 8% of the world population, which I was told is a lot. It is still not the largest data leak ever though, as you may remember the Chinese police leak which happened in 2022. Back then files on over a billion people were stolen. Another data leak I want to talk about is much smaller and much stranger. South Korean technology giant Samsung disclosed that its employees leaked crucial information to ChatGPT, the popular AI chatbot. The employees were delegating the AI mundane tasks, like checking code or summarizing documents. But since all the conversations ChatGPT partakes in are recorded, stored, and then used to improve the AI, the data is as good as stolen. Reportedly, the source code of equipment Samsung uses to measure semiconductors was given to ChatGPT, as well as tons of other sensitive materials. Now they have become a part of the chatbot itself and are nearly impossible to remove. ChatGPT specifically warns all users not to share important data with it, but of course, this was not enough. Another story of industrial data leak comes from Taiwan where computer manufacturer MSI sustained a massive cyber attack. The company got hacked by the Money Message ransomware gang, which stole over 500 gigabytes of its data and demanded ransom. When the conditions were not met, the criminals published the data. MSI source code was reportedly among the stolen data, which could be used to find exploits and perform further cyber crimes. Additionally, Hundreds of private keys were in the data and started making rounds around the internets soon after the leak. MSI issued a statement which urged its customers to obtain firmware BIOS updates as soon as possible to avoid possible exploits and use only the company website to download relevant files. Another company which got hacked was Catabolator, Wickersham & Taft, the oldest American law firm. Private data of over 90,000 of his clients may have been stolen back in November 2022, a fact which the company finally admitted in late March and early April. The company said there is no evidence that the client's data was actually stolen, but it was certain that a data breach occurred and was big. Law enforcement was immediately contacted, and in case any clients are found to be affected by the leak, the company promised to provide them with free identity theft protection services. Uber sustained a data breach too, although that one was significantly smaller. Social security numbers and other data of over 130 Uber drivers have been stolen from a law firm Uber hires. All the drivers are citizens of Massachusetts and the state's law enforcement said they are on the case. When it comes to Uber data leaks, this one is relatively small. Back in 2016, the company sustained a cyber attack with 57 million customers' data being stolen and then tried to cover it up. In 2022, the company was hacked again when cyber criminals infiltrated its internal systems and gained access to sensitive documents. And now onto a large data breach, which turned out to not have happened. A famous hacker known as Intel Broker announced that he got into the database of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, getting access to employee and customer data. The breach was reportedly made due to weak credentials, and if confirmed, could have exposed numerous refugees who were claiming asylum in the U.S. However, the breach turned out to be false. It was a demo database with fake names and data, a fact some keen-eyed users noticed straight away. Uskis said that none of their actual data was leaked, and the fact was later confirmed by VX Underground, the Twitter account which broke the story. And now our regular segment, Cyber War. Hackers on both sides of the war in Ukraine have been busy through April, attacking military organizations, civilian targets, and each other. A notable story happened in the US, which was shaken by the Pentagon leak story. 
dozens of top-secret documents, many of them detailing intel on the war in Ukraine, were leaked in one of the largest security breaches of recent time. The documents turned out to have been shared by a 21-year-old U.S. Air Force employee, Jack Teixeira, who posted them on his Discord server to gain bragging rights. Meanwhile, Kilnet, one of the major pro-Russian hacker groups, was busy hacking into Western institutions. It tried to sabotage Eurocontrol, the European Air Navigation and Safety Organization, which sustained some damage but managed to avoid flight disruptions. Kilnet then leaked a trove of NATO documents it allegedly obtained from a hack server. Most of the documents were internal presentations and reports of little value, but some contained personal data of various people from European and American militaries. Another infamous Russian hacker group, known as APT-28 or Fancy Bear, found itself in the crosshairs of Ukrainian hackers. The leader of Fancy Bear was hacked, and his personal data was published. He turned out to be Sergei Morgashev, a high-ranking Russian intelligence officer. The hackers not only doxed him, but gained access to his personal accounts and used his credit card to purchase some unexpected gifts. And now, Blitz News. The office of Molvad, the popular VPN provider, has been raided by the Swedish police. The company said they managed to convince policemen that no customer data is stored on their servers and no equipment was confiscated. The police confirmed to Cyber News that the raid indeed happened, but did not provide any details. Genesis Market, one of the largest and most notorious cyber criminal forums, has been taken down in a worldwide law enforcement operation, spearheaded by the FBI. Hundreds of its users were caught in an arrest spree, bringing the forum, which existed since 2018, to its end. An American company Levada's injected ChatGPT into Spot, the robot dog manufactured by Boston Dynamics. They taught ChatGPT to control the dog and, in turn, act in response to voice commands. And then as Bear Bank, Russia's largest bank, announced launching its own competitor to ChatGPT called GigaChat, which would be specifically tailored to the Russian language and receive a limited release soon. That's it for this Cyber News April recap. We publish cybersecurity news daily, so subscribe to our channel for more, and I will see you in the next one.